So, went to see uh, Let, Me, Let Me Live last night and I've got to say it was, it was fantastic. Could not fault the performance, it was so good. Uh, everything was there. Broke the fourth wall, old jokes, new jokes, new stuff, twists, all built together. Really fantastic show. Loved it. Looking forward to the show for ages. But there was there was one thing about last night. It really kinda annoyed me. Like months ago I get uh, told that uh, well, my pal phone me up, I was like, Oh, could you get the lobby tickets and I'll give the one later on? And I was like, Yeah, sure. So how many should I get? He went, I'll get get four. And I was like, right, no bother, four. So one for me, one for Chris and one for Kieran, and then one for I expect it could have been David Singer, right? Davy, Niall, Kieran, Richard, MD, MD, Sean, fucking MD that I've met in my entire life. Could have been MD with any single one of them, but not. Nah. Uh, as soon as I told Chris that I had the tickets, I was like, there you go, Chris. That'll be a Christmas. Get it, get it for the boys. And then uh, he says, like, all right. And then he tweeted this guy, he's like, oh, Brian, that's me got you a ticket. That's me got you a ticket for Lemmy Live. I was like, what? What the fuck, man? Who, who the fuck? Who the fuck is Brian? Who's Brian? My flatmate came in. And I was like, all right, I've got, I've got tickets to Lemmy Live. He went, oh, cheers, me, Oh, thanks very much. And I went, oh, they're not, they're not for you. And who the fuck? went, oh, it's for me, Chris, Kieran, and, and Brian. He's like, who the fuck's Brian? And I went, I don't really know. Uh, all in all, of one Brian, and he, he was pretty busy that night. So, for months I had it, can I lost, he was pretty raging with me, can I lost pals because of this guy Brian had a ticket and they didn't, they were like, oh, why are you not taking me? It's about the pub out here, do you want a pint, no, they? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm like, no, oh, fucking Brian, come and go get, get it for you. Alright, alright, cheers. So that went on for a wee bit, that went on for months. And I kept going, oh, Brian's there, Brian. Who is this mysterious Brian? Who is this Brian character? Who is this Brian? Why is he so special? Why is he getting a ticket and I'm no? Why is Rory so in love with Brian? What's going on? Well, it turns out Brian's a wank. Uh, well, that's, that's no fair. That's no fair. Well, as, 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 well, you see my point. Brian is a wank. It's more of his pal he brought. His pal's a total cunt, right? I couldn't believe it. Uh, Brian walked in. Right, shouldn't he judge a book by his cover, but Fan Dana, a uh, pair of brogues, knee soaks, and I was like, alright, looks a bit yagging, but I'm sure he'll I'm sure he'll be alright. I'm sure he'll be alright. Uh, and he was he was kinda of alright. Uh, but the fact it was his it was his pal that he was with. Uh, within the first five minutes he was telling me that it was fucking racist comments, misogynist comments, and then he'll show me pictures of like this naked woman that his, his boss was shagging from Newfoundland, and I was like, I, "Why are you show me this? Why are you just show me pictures of random women I don't know and you don't know? And they're not famous. What's the point? You know what I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know you, mate. I don't even fucking know you." And then again, it kind of got into talk to political stuff. And he was like, he was he was a major no voter, uh, and basically a fucking fucking Tory, fucking Tory man. And then he admits to us that he's never seen Lemmy before. I was like, well, kind of fair enough. I've not seen Lemmy before. Like I've not seen I've not seen other in the world. Like it's no Highlander, right? So, but the thing was, like, if I was going to see a show like Lemmy. To do a bit of research, I'd watch some of it. Told, oh, no, he told me he watched some a Vine, and he was going, Yeah, look, let me just like, it was all about being a Ned, and I think that's all been done. Like, we've all, we've all went through that Ned, Ned phase, but I think we all, we all went through it, didn't we? We all went through that Ned phase, and I was thinking, Mad at me, mad at me. I've seen other folk that have, like, wait, Ned, no, no. To be a, like, cheeky wee bastard. For a bit, be grow at it. There's probably like, there's Neds and there's Neds and there. there's Neds and there's Moshers. 
Now it's more of a wash out. But that's another point. Uh, I was so this guy had come all the way from Norway to watch the Lamy show. I'd never even seen it. Never even seen it. We're in a bar and I'm like, great, come on, we need to, we need to get going here because it fucking starts. Starts at eight. He's like, oh no, hang back, hang back. We're all right, we're two seconds in, we're two seconds in, yeah, da, da. And I was like, shut the fuck up, right? I've been looking forward to this for fucking years. I've been a fan of me for years. Right, I want to go see that. I want to be there, see the big man, bright and early. So I'm like, right, fuck you, it's very away. And then, oh, fine, we'll come. And then they looked at the queue to get in the door, like, it was oh, the fucking Pol Pot's death march. But it wasn't that bad. Oh, you're just going to wait up there. Uh, we're just going to have a drink in the ACCC. We'll go for a drink in there. We'll get his in there. All the while I was thinking, why is, why is this guy there? Because there's only got one ticket for this, Brian. Turns out Brian had another ticket. Brian had bought two a ticket for him and his pal, Finn Orway. So that's the Scottish way. Works in other fucking gives a fuck. So he had this extra ticket. An extra ticket. Right, and he was like, can I get that ticket then? And I, Chris went, aye, okay, there's a, there's a ticket. Don't know why he wanted that one, because he had two, another two in his pocket. And just kind of, so we got in there, got up to the seats and all that, and I'm like, fine, well, thank fuck, there away, thank fuck, looked about, and there's like, Fraser of your brothers down there, and Tony from my course, and like, now always kind of about there, and Craig was down there. Loads of folk I knew. I thought, Brown, safe environment, those dicks are away. Thank fuck. But 20 minutes in to the show, they come in, steaming. And the two of them come along and tried to sit in this one seat. Tried to sit in this one seat where they, uh, they, were, they were going, oh, I don't know what to do. What to do. So then Brian, this fucking wonderful Brian, left and left me with this fucking van down beside me. And he wasn't interested in the show. What he was doing was sitting on his phone. It was a big I, I, I phone six number. Fucking huge thing. Oh, the white screen telly. Oh, everyone around looking at him like that. What the fuck? And he's like, alright, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Right, right, right. And then he fucked off. And I was like, mate. So anyway, enjoyed the show. Enjoyed the show. But then after it, couldn't get rid of them. Couldn't get fucking rid of them. Uh, they were outside. Caught us, tried to run away, but they caught us. Grown men, 27, trying to run away from, from big boys. Uh, but they caught us. And the guy comes out and he's like, Well, that was the biggest load of shit I've seen. And I was like, What? What? And he's like, I'm entitled to my opinion, and I said that was the biggest load of shit. And I was like, Who, who the fuck fucking say, who says that? Who says, I'm entitled to my opinion? I'm entitled to my opinion. Folk, usually that's people say, well you're entitled to your own opinion, but saying this, it's kind of, but he wasn't, in my eyes, he's not entitled to his own opinion in that show because it wasn't a show for first time people. It was a people who have like, went along with Lemmy and his comedy things. I've been fucking podcasts, the videos he put up on Lemmy.com. We've been on it, I, I, I kind of, you kind of think of Lemmy, because he's been around for years, and he's local, and he's, and he's got your partner, you kind of think of him as your pal. So, and that show last night was kind of like, well, a, it was kind of like a graduation. So imagine you were going to your pal's graduation, and some guy just shouted out, oh, he's fucking shite. He's fucking shite. So it really, really, really hurt me. And everybody was going, oh, I'm entitled to my, I'm entitled to my own opinion. It's kind of, no, you're not. It's kind of like picking up a book, and then going, Picking up a book, going, all right, I'm going to read these five pages, five pages, shite, shite, didn't get it, didn't get any of it, don't understand it. You called it an adult punching duty, a fucking adult punching duty. Oh, I'm over here, I'm doing over there, and it's like, <laughs> fucking wankstain, he really, oh, he really pissed me off. Why? Why come all the way from Norway to watch a show where you need to kind of know what the fuck's going on before you go in? Not do any of these shirts. Who does that? Uh. <sighs> Brian. 
Brian. Or whoever curse that fucking name, Brian. And his cunt of pal, Alan. Ugh. Fucking sorry, Lemmy. Brilliant show. Well done.